Hi everyone, this is actually uh, a video that I did, God knows, uh, well over a year ago and it was actually my second visit to Glodic. Um, I'd done one before and this, this one did particularly well and it also featured my uh, favourite takeaway, the Glodic Chippy. Um, I don't know why it disappeared from my channel but I, I was literally just going through my archive because um, a friend of mine suggested I should give them to... Um, you know, older mystery people eventually. Anyway, uh, that's another thing. But um, I was going through it and I realised it weren't on the channel and I have no idea why. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to re-upload it and people can uh, take a look. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Um, yeah, it was. I think it was built in 1900 um, and got its name from obviously being across from the, uh, uh, from the, uh, from the park, but... Old and Peoria that built it, they had this uh, thing where they'd basically put the, name, the names of the buildings in the stonework at the front, so obviously it's still there now. But now it's, uh, I think it's a plumber's. Yeah. Um, and the date, I think, is on the side. Oh, actually, no, I think that's for the Deaf Society. Yeah, and then you've got the Oldham. Deaf Society, look with the Boddington sign as well. Yes, yeah, so this is where the old uh, railway, ra railway warehouse was. Uh, and if you remember it, uh, I'll put a picture up for you anyway. But if you remember it, it was it was it was like it was like an uh, it was it was arced. It was an it, it was curved. Um, this is part of it. Um, but yeah, there used to be, apparently there used to be railway lines. Oh, something over there. There used to be there used to be railway lines, um, and they used to store all the stuff here, all around the ground. You can see like bits of uh, bits of the building, you know, with the with the metal in. Um, but obviously, all these trees have just sprouted up in the last few years. But there's a big pile of crap here. Yeah, it looks to me that people are basically just using this as a dumping ground now. There's literally bags of crap up there, all these bags, gardening waste. Um, I think it, you could probably drive in at one point and, <clears throat> and dump certain things. So anyway, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a walk up to Glodick um, because I want to do the bottom end of Glodick today. I'm going to have a look around there and see what's what. There's a bridge that we're going to go and look at, which is an old iron bridge. It's been there for donkey's years. Um, and it was in a film that was made in Oldham. Well, sort of majority of it was shot in Oldham at Mump Station um, on this bridge. And it was a 1963 film called A Kind of Loving with um, Alan Bates. So, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, we're going to make our way down there, have a look at the bridge. It's all overgrown now not cared for <coughs> god this cough and uh then we'll go and have a walk at waterloo street and just just see what we can find really see if we can spot any old pubs uh etc etc so yeah few years ago I mean all of these now obviously these are all modern houses but literally the whole street from top to bottom was um, was terraces and they had different types of terraces so you had the workers terraces which are probably more like the ones up at the top and then you had these ones here on the right hand side now there were a lot of these 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 ones here they're all just turn, been turned into shops now but these are the houses where the most affluent or the more affluent people would have lived. Um, it's obviously still close to Oldham, um, but you know, in, in, in bigger, uh, maybe arguably nicer houses, I don't know. Would you see this building on the end here? Well, that next door to that, literally next door, lived Sir Stid, Sir, I can't say his name, 
Sir Sidney Stott. Uh, and I mentioned him in other videos and he's basically, um, he was an architect who ba basically built most of the mills in Oldham. Uh, someone's just let on then. Um, but yeah, so you've got your jewellers, you've got your travel, modern decor. Oh, I'll have a look in that when it reopens. Um, <coughs> and here, do you see this old wall? Well, I don't know what was here. If you know what was here, maybe it was a mill. Um, but obviously, the build, you know, this, this estate's built on it now. Uh, right, let's go up to the... Um, let's go to the bridge and have a look. Oh, just had one of my... Uh, that guy there who just said that man just let on. He just turned around just to say hello and he... He watches the channel. It's lovely to meet him. Um, so yeah, I think I'm on the right track here. I've only been up this way to the bridge uh, once before. Um, oh. oh god! You know what? Them pigeons have just been scared of. Uh, I'm not going to point at the house, but someone's got a big, massive parrot. Can you hear it? Uh, and as soon as, as soon as the parrot started screaming, they all started running. Right. <coughs> so we're here now. That was what the pigeons were eating. Someone's put some food out for them. So, there's two ways of getting. Now, literally, uh, let's get down here. So literally, this is a pathway that would have led down. But if you look, basically because it's not been used, you would have been able to walk down here and all the way round, but the council haven't kept it up because, you know, people aren't using it. We'll see it different from the other side, but I think this is the best way to go. Uh, round here. Oh, wow, look at that power station. Wow. Yeah, so this is the situation. So at the start of this bridge, you'll see it. Years ago, they used to have a plaque there. I think it was, well, it must have been brass or copper or something. I don't know what the plaque was about, um, but it's been nicked. So I think someone's just nicked it off the wall and weighed it in. Um, but it used to be here. Can you see the holes? Um, that's the other side of that path. Look at it. And basically, people have just been and dumped a load of crap. It's not on really that, is it? Um, I'm not talking about the rubbish. I'm talking about, well, yeah, that in it on. But you know, the fact that you know that they've, they've just let the walkway go is it's weird. But look at this. Even the lights still working somehow. That one's on. And then you've got the old railway arches down the bottom. back of the school. Let's have a look over here. <coughs> now we are going to walk to the end of this, um, this bridge because on the other side they've taken the bridge out completely. Um, I don't know why. Obviously it must have been dangerous or something or maybe I just kind of just felt like doing it. I don't know. Um, uh, but what we're doing, the reason why I want to go over is I want to show you where the railway tracks used to be as well. I think the trams probably go down there now, but... And for all of you um, people that watch the channel that don't actually live in Oldham anymore, um, this will be an interesting one for you. Now, Mumps Bridge is completely gone. Um, what they've done is they've They've just taken out the um, roundabout completely, knocked the bridge down and then put in this dual carriageway and they've basically just resurfaced everything. But we're going to go onto the site now where the uh, railway used to be. So this is where the train station used to be all gone. If you look at the floor there as well you can still see the old pebbled road. I wonder what they're going to do with this site. 
You've got an area around here where the police park and stuff. Um, but yeah, there isn't. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What, what, what will they do with it? I suppose only time will tell. Something's sticking out the floor there. It's like a big, huge boat, look. Odd. Very odd. Right, I think... I think this has brought us back into Glodick, which is great because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back in and have an, another look round. Trying to work out where I am here. I think I'm, I think, I think I'm at the back of where the post office is at the bottom of, I can't be at the bottom of Gladdick Road, surely. Or could I? I've never seen this place before in my entire life, so. Look at it. It's hiding its food. Wow. Look at it. It's just put some food there and then hid it. <laughs> Little bugger. So I just walked up round now through the business estate um, and it's brought me up by the side of uh, Royal Mail and then you've got Gladick Road up there so I'm going to walk up there but I'm just walking past here and look at this all these old stones wonder what building they came off look at that one there it's got like a it's got like a thing etched into the front of it like a flower or something all of these stones would have been um, maybe a part of or on top of buildings. Look at that one. That's got something chiselled into it. That looks like it's been part of like an archway. Wonder what they're going to do with them. <laughs> Not very interesting for you that I'm afraid, but I'm just having a nosy park of me. Oh, I've got a feeling this video is really boring, you know. Right. See these two houses here? They're unusual, just bang in the middle of nowhere. They're obviously, the whole area would have been populated at one point. But these houses, no one lives in them. And they haven't done for donkey's years. I think one of them was the site of, I think someone was found murdered in there a few years back. But you know what? I, I can't remember the whole story. My cousin knows apparently, but she's not available. She's working today, so... Um, if I speak to her before I post this, I can put some more detail on, but that wasn't the reason why I wanted to film it. I just wanted to show these beautiful big houses. And what happened was, um, the person that owned them came and put all the windows back in. You know, they, they, re they got brand new windows in. And then some, I can only say an idiot, then decided to come round and put every... Oh, God, children. Uh, put every single window through. Oh yeah, I can smell them pigeons, they stink. And I think... I used to live in there, look. Did you? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Which one? I lived in that room. I lived in the attic. What, was it like a guest house or...? It was an hostel. Was it? Yeah, it was an hostel. What? what? I was just saying then, why has someone come along and put all the windows through? I don't get that, mate. Um, right, I don't either. It's disgusting. Well, once the lady owned it, um, I think it was maybe Stubbs's or something, I'm not sure. Right. Um, but she used to rent it out and then what, and the people who live who lived there, she used to give us meals at night in the morning and yeah. then it all stopped and she got rid of all the normal tenants and just left the drug addicts and, oh, God. and, and alcoholics in there and let it go fall to shit. She must have got more money for them then, eh? Yeah. North government and that, she, you know. Um, and this is... <laughs> 2003, 2004. I would just say no one's lived in these for donkey's years, have they? No. So were this were this one like someone's house then? No, it was all the old thing was hostel. One building. Uh, right. You go in there and there's a there's, 
there's a, there's a door for this front room here and then there's stairs that go up and then it's all like little corridors that go around and then there's more stairs that take you up to attic rooms there's room after room after room in there Right. Are you thinking of buying place? So, I'm, I do, I've got a YouTube channel, I do, oh, I do right. YouTube videos, yeah, oh, so yeah. I just, I'm walking around Gothic today, and I just thought I'm gonna... You shut it down, uh, a, few, a few of the tenants died in there, and oh. uh, overdoses and stuff. And that right then? Yeah. Death yeah. nail. Yeah. Right, well thank you for that mate, You're nice welcome. to meet you, see you later. So there you have it, it was a hostel. <clears throat> Uh, maybe that's what he was referring to then when he said, um, you know, people have died. Maybe that's what I'd heard. Um, but yeah, we're just down by Cross Street now. And I think we'll make our way up into Glodick. Let's take another walk through the street, see what we can find. I don't know what the hell is in them bags or why you'd need to... Looks like a bone. Ooh. You know what I've just realised? So I haven't gone out to Waterloo, what I've done. It looks like there's a lot of old buildings down here as well, which is great news. So yeah, I basically uh, turn right and it looks like I'm coming out into Glodick. Uh, right, right at the top, but to the side, if you know what I mean. But I'm, I'm really glad that I have because this is that mosque that I wanted to come and look at. Um, just coming into the distance now, so I'm going to get up to it and then we'll have a look around it. I've never been inside a mosque. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to go in and have a look and see what they're like. Um, obviously I've seen them on TV and stuff, but I was just looking at that dome up there. And you can see the light coming right through from one side to the other. That's, I reckon that's probably over the prayer room. And I reckon on a really sunny day, I hope it's glorious in there, you know. And then, today looks a bit dreary, you know, but actually, it's not. It's a, it's a lovely day. It's got a little bit of a bite to the air, but not, you know, not, you, not that you'd worry about it. You need a coat on, but it's not. Um, I, I wonder what you see that. If you look at that turret there. If anyone knows the answer to this, tell me. But can you see how the other ones are... F that one looks like it's fallen out or been cut out. I wonder if that's where... I wonder if that's where maybe you'd, like, do the call to prayer from there or something. Through the... I don't know. If anyone knows, tell me, because I, I really haven't got a clue. But the other building that I wanted to look at is this one here. This one. I wonder what that used to be. It's a college now, Greengate. Yeah, it's Greengate Islamic College now. <coughs> I wonder if it's always, always been a school or... Look at these here with all these lights. I bet it looks brilliant when it's all lit up. Yes, yeah, so I just spoke to this guy then and asked him uh, what it was. Apparently, um, some people owned it, who owned the place down the bottom when it was a pub and then it became a mosque and then obviously they built the mosque across the road look at this in the stone don't know if that gives us a clue um, but yeah now they've opened it as a college so but apparently that was just before covid so uh obviously it's not being used at the moment but look at these houses look at that beautiful house there on the corner oh someone's cooking it smells glorious all right let's make our way down Let's go for a walk through these streets here. He's feral. And you've got the fish and chip shop up here on Minton Street. I don't mind chippy actually, I might go and get chip. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get chip butty. Got it, I've just been to the Gladic Chippy. Um, as well as doing fish and chips, um, I've just got the Sunday special, um, which is beautiful uh, lamb 
curry and they do naan breads with it and they put all these lovely oh, herbs and it's, I just know it's going to be spectacular so I'm going to make my way back to the car now get myself home and uh, hopefully I've got a good video to edit but before I do look at this old I think this is an old co-op you know I don't know what they're using it for now. Just coming up to uh, Park Road now. Yeah, I'm sure this is an old co an old an old co-op. It's massive. <laughs> 